Hi, I'm Ashley and welcome to Tip Ticks. If you've ever seen any of those explainer style videos online and you've wondered if you could take that same concept and turn it into a presentation in PowerPoint, this video is for you. Explainer style videos have really taken off lately with their use of compelling visuals and informative voiceover. I recently created one for a YouTube investing series. And while I used a dedicated motion graphics program, if this client were to come to me and say, I really liked what you did for that video. And I would love to use those same graphics in a presentation for such a such event. Can you do that? I would say, absolutely, you totally can have that created in PowerPoint. PowerPoint is an immensely powerful tool. And although it might not have all the bells and whistles that a dedicated motion graphics program has, you can still do a lot with it. So over the next few videos, I'm going to take that original uh, animated segment that I created in After Effects and recreate it in PowerPoint. I will also go over what you need to consider when you're creating this explainer style graphic as a presentation deck. So first off, let's compare the video that I created in After Effects to the presentation that I created in PowerPoint. So a bear market is, is a down market. It's when sentiment or investor outlook is at its worst. You have got the flow of money is very much out of the stock market or out of that portion of the sector that you're you're looking at um, and conversely a bull market is the exact the polar opposite it's when everybody's attracted to it there's a ton of momentum it's building to this kind of euphoric stage um, and the bull market of course is is where you make the money so they're pretty close there's definitely some nuances and and details in the motion graphics one the original that aren't there in the PowerPoint presentation version, but that's to be expected. It's not a dedicated program. But what you do lose in those little details, you gain in functionality. The fantastic part about PowerPoint is that since everything's broken down into slides, the timing can be variable. The presenter doesn't have to feel rushed. They don't have to worry about speaking at the same exact time as their visuals appear on screen. They can go off on a tangent. They can get questions asked. They can pause for effect. Everything can be done at their own pace because they're in control of when the next animation actually comes onto the screen. So let's take a look at how I actually broke this animation down into individual slides. Normally with a presentation like this, I would be starting from scratch. So I'd be given a rough script from the client. I would mark where I want each slide and animation to go and maybe sketch out some ideas of what I would want it to look like. If you do have any questions or you want to hear more about my process of going from script to presentation, let me know in the comments below. Now, since I'm basing this off of existing audio, I've cut the recording into sections that make sense to add visual breaks to. I have added the full audio to each slide and then gone to the playback menu and trimmed it to that section that matches with that part of the animation. Now that each section of the presentation has been divided, let's walk through it. So a bear market is, is a down market. It's when sentiment or investor outlook is at its worst. You have got the flow of money is very much out of the stock market or out of that portion of the sector that you're, you're looking at. I mean, conversely, a bull market is the exact, the polar opposite. Each slide can be advanced by clicking. So attracted. the presenter can take their time with their words and move on to the next one whenever they're comfortable. Kind of but even stage. if it's between slides and they're taking their time, the screen still has movement and is still dynamic as if it's a pre-recorded video. And that is what I'll be covering in my next tutorial, part two of this series. If you're watching this at a later date, I will link it right here if it's already been released. So I hope you enjoyed part one of this video series on how I take a motion graphic animation and turn it into a PowerPoint presentation. I hope you'll follow along for part two and onwards and comment, like, and subscribe if you wanna be notified when the next one releases or when any other of my videos comes out. Have a good one.